From UFOs to ghosts and psychic powers, history is riddled with unexplained events. You can turn back now and learn the stuff they don't want you to know. Here are the facts. Whether in the depths of deep sea vents or inhospitable deserts, planet Earth teems with life. But how much of it is intelligent, and how do we define that intelligence? The search for this answer has challenged some of science's historical assumptions. For example, it was once believed that only humans used tools. That has since been disproven. Current research delves deeper into intelligence, studying phenomena such as the astonishing mimicry abilities of lyre birds and the concept of fairness in primates and dogs. But one researcher is taking this further. At a laboratory near Florence, Dr. Stefano Mancuso is asking if plants are intelligent. Here's where it gets crazy. Mancuso defines intelligence as the capacity to solve problems and claims plants don't need human-like feelings to be considered intelligent. The professor isn't claiming plants understand speech. However, he does believe plants have a specific and fairly extensive chemical vocabulary used to communicate. Mancuso's experiments have produced intriguing results. For example, his group found that vines at a Tuscan winery grew faster when exposed to music. The crucial distinction for Mancuso is that plants are not simply living, they are also sensing and reacting to their environment. In fact, Mancuso believes that plants are more sophisticated than animals when it comes to sensing, pointing out that a root apex monitors a minimum of 15 different chemical and physical inputs. Mancuso also argues that some plants sleep or even play in their youth. Communication is a crucial issue when it comes to plant intelligence. Plants are able to distinguish their kin and also to manipulate animals into transporting pollen. Opponents of the idea believe these behaviors are only adaptations, not signs of intelligence. After all, plants have no brains. Yet Mancuso claims that a specific region of the root apex, the transition zone, consumes the highest amount of oxygen in a plant and also exhibits action potential, the same signals found in the neurons of human brains. Although these zones comprise only a few hundred cells per apex, the surface area adds up over thousands of roots. Mancuso compares this to a network of computers. Opponents of the idea have accused Mancuso of everything from pseudoscience to intentionally misleading comparisons. Plants, for their part, haven't said much either way in the argument. Is that because, as most scientists claim, plants are unintelligent? Or is it because, as Mancuso argues, they simply communicate differently? Or, just maybe, is it because there's something they don't want you to know?